Good afternoon and welcome to UMETSAT. Today, continuing in our series on big data services, I'm going to give you a short overview of the UMETSAT data store. The UMETSAT data store provides users with a single point of access to UMETSAT's meteorological, atmospheric, oceanographic and climate data records. At present, a subset of UMETSAT products are available on the data store service, though these will grow over time. Eventually, the service will offer near real-time data, historical data and climate data records. Access to this data is provided through a web UI or through a series of application programming interfaces or APIs. This demonstration will concentrate mostly on the use of the web user interface. More information on the APIs can be found on our user support pages. Users can access the UMETSAT data store either following the links on the UMETSAT website or by going directly there using the following URL of data .umetsat.int. This will take you to the data store web UI landing page. Now that we are on the landing page, I'll talk you through some of the features that you can see now you are there. The top bar of all UMETSAT's data services has common access to the mega menu, which provides information on the service itself and the ability to navigate between the services, as well as information on how to contact Help Desk for more support. Towards the right hand side of the top bar, we have a currently greyed out cart icon, which we will come to later. And we have a small icon that says login next to it, telling me that I'm not currently logged into the service. Users are able to use the data store to browse the catalogue without logging in. However, we recommend you sign up for an Earth Observation Portal single sign-on account, which will allow you access to the full service, including download functionality. So if I click on the icon, it will take me to my Earth Observation Portal account. And when I click login, it will return me to the data store page and I will be logged in. As you can see, now that I'm in my account, I currently have one item resident in my cart. So how do we search for data on the UMETSAT data store? There are two ways we can do this, but before we proceed, I'm just going to define a couple of terms. We organize data in terms of collections and products. A collection is a series of data of a common stream. A product is an individual component of that collection. All collections are made up of products. If we want to search the data store at collection level, we can do it one of three ways. The first way is by looking at all these instances that occur in rows as we scroll down on the front page. Each one of these rows gives you information about the collection itself. It tells you the collection name, it gives you some metadata information about the collection, it tells you whether that collection is from a LEO or a GEO orbit product, and if we wish to learn more, there is a link for us to get more metadata about the collection of interest. I'm just going to click this learn more button. And now we can see it opens up much more fine-grained detail about that collection itself, including the distribution format, who is responsible for the data, uh, what, available, what data is available, and what the spatial coverage is in some cases. If I return to the landing page, the second way we can search by collection is by using the search box at the top, where it says currently Atlantic Sea. I can put in any search term I wish. I will try AVHRR, and this will narrow down the results based on my search query. The search query, when it's text, it searches not only the product title, but also all the information in the available description. This is quite a simple search, but if I wish to narrow this down further, I can use the menu on the left-hand side to refine by sensor type, to refine by products available for download or just view, by data format, data policy, etc. a whole raft of options that allow you to refine your search. The third way we can search the data store by collection is via the web implementation of the REST API. To reach this, we can go to the following address, it's api.umetsat.int slash data slash browse slash collections. This will actually provide us with a web front end which allows us to search by collection for all of the products that are available on the data store at the current time. You can request this information via API requests as either JSON or XML format or feel free to browse using your browser to see what is available. Returning to the data store landing page, now we're going to take a look at how we isolate the products that are available under each collection. I'm going to launch a new search and I'm going to search for Severi data. This will currently return me information on available Severi products including the cloud mask and the radiometry channels. I'm going to select the level 1.5 image data and click the access data button. Clicking on the access data button has brought me to the product selection page for the collection I'm interested in. In this case, the Severi level 1.5 image data. Now we can see for this collection, because this is a geo collection, the spatial coverage is always the same for every product we choose. However, we can refine our search by time, and this is what I will do now. So if I select a time window that's today, but two hours in the past, up till right now, and hit the show results button, 
This will show me the products that match my search criteria. Now I have this list of products, I'm able to request more information on this product by clicking the small eye icon. This will give me information on the product and not the collection level. I can choose to download the product directly using the small down icon or I can choose to add my product to cart if I wish to download in bulk or if I wish to transfer the data from the data store to the UMetsat data tailor. Other pieces of information that are worth noting on this page is in the top left hand side it gives me the ID of the collection that I'm currently browsing. This is very useful information if you wish to interact with the catalogue using APIs. It will also give you information on the data policy associated with that data collection. Your access to the data will depend on the licensing conditions associated with your EOP account. If you're interested in customising any product and you would like more information on the data tailor, then please see our data tailor video that's available on the UMetsat YouTube channel. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add a product to my cart by clicking the cart icon. I can choose to add as many as I wish or I can choose to select some with the tick boxes and add them all to cart at the same time. And as I'm doing this, you'll see the number of products in my cart is increasing. To get to my cart, I click the small cart icon on the menu bar and this will give me a list of all the products that I have available. There are two ways you can download products from the cart. The first is via the download buttons on the right hand side. The second is via the download cart button, which will give you a metadata file which you can use to download each product sequentially. Now I'm going to show you another example of the same process but using a Leo collection where the products have different spatial coverage for each instance. So I'm going to click the data access button to return to the home page and now as before I'm going to search for AVHRR data and choose the level 1B Metop product. You can see this has a Leo tag in the top right hand corner. When I access the data no footprint is provided as it doesn't know which product we're going to select yet. But if I do a quick search and show results, you can now see that with every product I select, the spatial footprint on the map will change. As before, I can select and refine the collection by time, but now I can also select and refine by space. On the map icons on the right hand side, I can choose any of these AOIs or area of interests to draw a box on the map and then show results will now reduce the collection to only the products that touch this box. Bear in mind that it's products that touch the box and not products that totally cover the box. As before, I can choose to select all in page, add all these items to cart should I so wish, or download them directly from the product page itself. You're able to refine your areas of interest or AOIs using a regular polygon like a box, using an irregular polygon, or using any of the predefined Equi7 areas. So let's take a return trip to our cart to see what products we have in there now. And we can see we have all of the products we've added, both from our searches from Metop and from MSG. Now currently you'll notice that there's a small box here called Customize Cart which is greyed out. The reason it's greyed out is this is the link to the data tailor and we can only add one product of one type at any one time. So if I choose to remove all items from my cart, I'm going to quickly do one more search. And now you can see I have a single MSG product in my cart. I can now click the Customize Cart button, which will preload this product into the UMetsat data tailor. Now I've given you a brief overview of the UMetsat data store access via the web UI. I'm going to briefly discuss the API access. All of the processes we've gone through here are doable automatically through an API interface. When you're logged into the data store, if you click on your account name, you will see an instance on the menu called API key. Under this menu, this will provide you with the consumer key and consumer secret you need to interact with the APIs. Currently, these are hidden. In order for you to see them, you should click the Show Hidden Fields button at the bottom of the page. But I'm not going to show you these, as these ones are specific just to me. Once you have access to these keys, you will be freely available to interface with the Data Store APIs to search for data, to filter your searches, to browse for data and discover it, as well as to download data, all without returning to the web UI. More information on the Data Store and using the APIs is available at our Data Store Knowledge Base, which can be found at umetsatspace.atlassian.net slash wiki slash spaces slash DSDS for data store.
We have also published a Python repository under our UMetsat GitLab space, which gives you examples of how you would interface with these APIs and how you could put them to work in your production chains. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found this video useful and we hope that the information provided here helps you in interfacing with the UMetsat data store, either through the web UI or through the APIs. If you have any further questions for us, you can contact us at the UMetsat help desk at ops at umetsat.int and we'll help you with any queries you might have about how to interface with the data store. Thank you.